Welcome to another episode of PTR Punch List, and you might have noticed we've been gone for a few weeks. I've been in Jamaica, Clinton Austin have been in Milwaukee, and well, we finally got our act together and we're back. We have all kinds of Milwaukee products to talk about. Gen 4 M18 fuel drill, hammer drill, impact driver, M12's got a new generation, we've got new batteries. We have the most highly anticipated saw in Milwaukee's history. Okay, I can't verify that, but we're going to talk about the track saw anyway. All this and more in just a second. Well, Clint, welcome back. It's good to be back. I'm glad you made it back, actually. Yes. You had quite the adventure. We did. We were part of that. You know, when they were spouting out all those numbers of canceled flights, that was us. We were on that. Uh huh. My travels, on the other hand, they were much more pleasant. Turquoise waters, lots of rum punch, and fantastic food later. I think I came back more relaxed than you. But anyway, we're here to talk about Milwaukee, and uh, you had some stuff. I got a cup, though. You do have a cup, and I don't have any tools yet. We're waiting on these things to show up, but we did get to use a bunch of tools. Yeah, so let's start with M18 fuel. So for the okay. first time in several years, the, the drill and hammer drill and the impact driver, the flagship M18 fuel tool products, they've got a big upgrade. Yeah, it's been since 2018. It's Has been it really a, been that long? Yes, it's been like four years. Wow. And of course, everybody lost time, but it's been right. about four years. And um, so that was kind of exciting. Those are some of my favorite tools to use. They're just very easy. They're lightweight. They're powerful. Mm -hmm. I thought, surely they're done, you know, but for whatever reason, people keep upgrading tools and we don't complain. We just take them. So, I mean, they, they did a lot of stuff on these tools and we got to use them. Um, mm -hmm. 2100 RPM is the top speed of the okay. drill. So of that's, the M18. what, that's up uh, 100 RPM from the last one? Yeah, it's about 100 RPM more and you okay. feel it. It's just fast. It was already dialed up pretty high. Like you mm -hmm. can take a two and nine sixteenths inch self feed and drive it in high speed. Right. You, you could do that before you can really do it now. Like if okay. you could make several holes before, before the, you know, it started kind of, you know, yelling at you, mm -hmm. it just felt like you just keep going, just mm -hmm. keep going, keep going, keep going. And it, it just drills very, very powerfully. Um, one other thing they did that was really cool is auto stop. So they have a new feature finally that they brought on board i say finally because they're just they were kind of one of the last holdouts mm -hmm. um and now they have kickback control so if oh, you okay. yep it, and it's pretty sophisticated they're they're doing a little more than just like a gyroscope sort of thing mm -hmm. and it's also what it does it ends up limiting the amount of potential rotation you can have so you don't over twist before okay. it, it, yeah. it engages mm -hmm. but the idea is to stop it before um you know, prevent false starts, but stop it before you get damaged. It's, it's as you can imagine. Yeah, it's a more complex system than just a, yeah, what we're used to. There's a lot of propeller heads that are very, very intelligent, probably working on propeller that. Propeller heads? That's what we call people who are really smart. I don't know who you mean by we, Batman. Oh, well, you know. Yeah, anyway. So you mentioned more torque. Now, the Gen 3 hammer drill and drill driver had 1,200 inch pounds. So they went up from there? 1,400 inch pounds on, the, on the M18. Hammer drill. That's a lot of torque. That's a ton of torque. No, a ton would be 2,000 pounds. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's really strong, though. And you really could feel it. So you could feel it when you're drilling. And what's impressive about what Milwaukee has done with these tools is they're just as small as they were before. And really? they've got more torque. And so you're okay. like, okay. Is it, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Obviously, the, the, you know, the motor technology has been improved. Something's been changed. Mm -hmm. They've had four years to kind of mess with it. Mm -hmm. But they really did pull it off, and so you're still using a lightweight tool, mm -hmm. and you're getting a lot of power out of it. And you can tell. You do the self-feed bits, you do the, uh, uh, the ship augers, you do things like that, and you can really, really feel it. Concrete drilling, we did some of that. It, it tackled that like n nobody's business because it's got that nice mm -hmm. top, top end speed. Mm -hmm. uh, 2100 RPM makes for fast drilling. So it's a really, really cool tool. Um, okay. Now, yeah. did, did they have to use the high output batteries to get that, or are they still able to, to get that kind of performance with the regular 5.0s? You can, it's going to ship with two five O's oh, as a okay. kit. So you're still using the regular battery. So you oh. don't have to do anything special to get these, these features. It's not like you have to use high output. Okay, cool. No. Uh, how much are those going to run? Um, let me look at my notes. I, I made oh, a I lot. Thought we you don't have encyclopedia of knowledge. I you think it's right? not like we're going to talk about eight or 10 tools. So here, today. here's the funny thing. 189, right. For, or for, for the drill, 199 for okay. the hammer drill. Just forget about the drill. Just, just forget about it. So, Basically, what you want to look at is a hammer. It's 10 bucks premium. There's no reason to get right. just the drill. 10 bucks for the concrete right. drilling. Even if you it. already have a hammer drill, just get it. It doesn't make. So, 199 for the hammer okay. drill and uh, 299 for the kit. And okay. that's going to come with two 5 amp hour batteries and it's going to come with that hard case that Milwaukee Okay, so 100 bucks for two batteries and a charger? Right. Works for me. Yeah. All right. So, what about the impact driver? Because okay. that was already a really impressive tool. That was already a really impressive tool. I'm going to consult my notes again. 
<laughs> so here's the crazy thing. 3,900 RPM, mm. right? So they bumped the speed up on that. Uh-huh. 2,000 inch pounds of torque. Okay, so same torque, more speed. What mm-hmm. the old one have, like 3,600 or something like that? Yeah, they bumped it up quite a bit. Okay, yeah, that's they a nice increase. Quite a bit. So they, uh, they, they basically what they've ended up with is, a, is an impact driver that's got more torque than it needs. Mm-hmm. We, you know, we've done this over and over again. 16, sure. 1,800 mm-hmm. inch pounds of torque is going to snap stuff. It, sure. it just, uh, but what's nice is on soft torque applications, if you're, if you're mm-hmm. driving in ledger, we did a lot of ledger screws, kind of mm-hmm. simulating building a deck. Um, we did a bunch of different things with it, and it's it really, that extra speed really, really shows up because a lot of times you're using impact and you're starting to go, it, you know, just kind of starts bogging down as it gets right. further and further down. Well, we're driving half inch lag bolts. We're driving ledger screws, pretty decent lengths. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's just keeping up the speed and driving it in. And it's really, really impressive as a, as a product. So this impact driver, I wouldn't have thought that they would have done anything that would have really been eye opening compared mm-hmm. to the old one. The old one was really good. And, and I'm not one to jump on the bandwagon and go, this tool is amazing compared to the last one. It really is. Like, you might actually want wow. to pick it up. If you do a lot of driving of, mm-hmm. of heavier-duty kind of applications, it's going to speed up your work. Because it's not just a higher top-end theoretical speed. It actually spins faster while you're using it under load. Okay. And that's what matters. Now, is that kind of the same as the, the drill and the hammer drill? Did they do that without adding a lot of weight or size to they it? They took a half inch off. Took a half inch off? Yeah, it's even shorter. They also adjusted the trigger. The trigger has got like this really nice gradual squeeze now. Oh. And so you can really do a good job of variable uh, speed control. You, mm-hmm. can, you can really dial it in. We tested some of that. I liked it. Um, comes into play really well when you're starting things, um, when you're lining up something like a self-tap. So we tried it with some of that. And, uh, and so there's just a lot of different things you can do with it, and particularly when you're in low speed and all that. I like it. I like the way they adjusted it. So Okay, cool. Uh, what about pricing on that one? Pricing on that one, let me look again. Um, okay, so $149 for the bare tool. Oh, that's not bad. And $299 for the kit. Okay, so $149, $299. Good deal. All right, so one key? Uh, not yet. Not they're going okay. to come out with those. Um, I think last time it took them several months to come out. And you can yeah, always well, like price. six months to a year, yeah. something like that. Yeah, so, so same thing here. So you've okay. got, the, you got the three modes plus the self-tap mode on mm-hmm. these. And so, yeah, I mean, I th- I'm okay with that. All right, cool. Well, M18 Fuel sounds like a win for that. And it, it also kind of sounds like both tools, not a huge change in price compared to what the Gen 3s are running right now. No. So That's a little bit so of a cool. bump, but not huge. Yeah. So good deal. All right. Well, let's flip gears and talk about M12 fuel. Same two types of tools, but moving down to the compact class from Milwaukee. And um, I read some of the stuff that you sent back in, and uh, there's some impressive upgrades here, too. It's amazing how much power you're getting out of an M12 Mm -hmm. tool. And they weren't using these with anything particular, special batteries. I mean, they're just slapping in your normal normal cells. So very, very cool. Um, The hammer drill is a half inch shorter. Which is pretty cool. Really? Yep. Because, I mean, they made it from Gen 1 to Gen 2. There was already a huge yep. drop in the length, so they dropped it even more. Yeah, it's 5.9 inches Wow. Now. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good tool. $149 uh, for the bare tool. Uh-huh. Um, $179 for the kit. So only 30 bucks more for the kit? Uh, yes, oh. that's what I saw on here. Okay, so. well, forget that there's a bare tool. Because yeah, even if you're already on the system, the two fresh batteries for yeah. 30... Is it two batteries that comes with it? Um, like a two and a four? I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay, you have to get back to us on <laughs> we'll that. We'll in. have Austin put that in the, com- in the, in the <laughs> Anytime description. Anytime I forget, they're like, we'll have Austin do... He's, yeah, Austin's like, yeah, I think, really? it is a, I think it's got a 2 and a 4 Okay. If I remember correctly. That's so. an incredibly awesome price right? for, for that. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, all right. So let's talk about the new impact driver. Okay, so impact driver is... Um, it, it, and so, so here's the thing. We, we took these tools and we got to use them for a hot minute. You know what I mean? Like right. we're, we're there for several hours and we're trying to use them on as much stuff as we can. Um, the impact driver was interesting. It upped the speed to 3,600 RPM. And so very similar oh. to kind of what we experienced with the M18, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you know, you're, you're getting this, this sustained torque of 1,500 inch pounds, but you're doing it at a higher speed. And so, again, it just seemed to outperform what we were used to. And it mm-hmm. seemed like it could just handle bigger and bigger bits and bigger and bigger jobs. You know, I'm, you're not going to put a 2 and 916 self feed on this thing or anything like that. But it's, you know, it's still got the 3-in-1 self-tap mode. It's just a very, very confident tool. I liked the mm-hmm. old one. Pretty much eliminate the need for an 18-volt platform in a yeah. lot of cases, at least for the, your day-to-day stuff. I mean, it still installs and other things that, and, and that's that you're going to need to do rough ends and that kind of stuff. And that's, that's been my thing for years is just to use a... Uh, you know, a set of M12s. I mm-hmm. mean, for most work, 
you just you can get away with them, and it's less weight. And you, I love the clips. You just put them on your belt and you go. So it's, they're nice. Yeah. Well, before yeah. we move on to some of the woodworking tools and the track saw that I know everybody's wanting to hear about, they have um, a track saw. Yeah, they have a track saw. Oh, cool. We should it's talk like about that. Jamaica, they got a bobsled team. Right. Milwaukee track saw. You got a track saw now. It's all good. Anyway, I'm not going to sing for you, but um, there was a new uh, M12 battery that showed up. There was. Tell so, us about that. Okay, so the cool thing about this battery is in the same, so it's everybody else's, not everybody else, one of the popular things to do is switch from 18650 cells to the larger, you know, 21700s mm-hmm. or 2170. So bigger cell, you can't do that with M12 because the battery goes into the, into the tool right. handle. You're not going to make the tool handle larger. You're not going to, you know, so they've got to deal with keeping the same format. Mm-hmm. Well, they did. They just went with a more dense cell that has a higher level of output. And so now you've got this two and a half amp hour battery, compact battery, the CP 2.5. And you've got the, uh, the XC version that, which is five uh, amp hours. Mm -hmm. And they're these, like you're getting Buku more runtime and and extra powers. These are like their high output versions, but they just did it with the same size cell, just denser, more powerful. And then we kind of compared them you know, head to head, and you are getting a little bit, of, it's subtle, it's really subtle, but you are getting a little bit of a bump out of it. But mm. what's interesting is the big deal isn't, they're all excited about the extra power and the density and all that. Great, great job, great. You know, but, you know, me flipping out batteries, big deal, it doesn't matter. Um, they actually made them uh, corrosion resistant. So they're, you know, they, oh. <laughs> they, 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 they handle, uh, they'll, they'll handle, you know, dirt, grime, you know, stuff that gets on the battery better. Mm-hmm. And they also enhance the, the locking mechanism. So that was something a lot of people were asking for with the M12 line. Okay. Those batteries weren't quite up to what people wanted for that kind of use where, you know, where you, you know, you had, a, <laughs> you had it secured in the way that people would like. So that's been improved. So physically, the batteries have changed. You can handle solvents, all that sort of stuff. So. Okay, that's handy. Yeah, I like them. Need cash to grow your construction business but don't want to take on debt? GoBuild is a construction payment solution that makes it easy to access cash from your projects faster so you can take on more work, pay your subcontractors on time, and improve your bottom line, all without taking on debt. To see how GoBuild can help you, visit www.go.build slash Pro Tool Reviews and hit the sign up button today. Track saw. Oh, There's a need, track saw. We don't need to talk about that. Um, I want to talk about the track saw. All right, all right, fine. Okay, so <clears throat> I haven't been able to put my hands on it. I've seen the information that's come out. Everything yeah. looks impressive, but I've also seen some video of you using it. And I want to know, is it what we've been waiting for? Yes. Yeah, they... they it would have been horrible if they would have waited that long and then come out with something that didn't have the features that you need. Mm-hmm. But it has all of the features that I can envision that you would need. Um, you know, it's it's got it uses a six and a half inch blade. Okay, so just for reference, uh, Festival is like a six and a quarter. Mm-hmm. They also have obviously a bigger one out there. Um, like yeah, an most eight, of the track saws are six and yeah. a half inches. Yeah, so it's very yeah. So you're going to be able to stick blades on this thing. It's not it's not proprietary or anything weird. Um, they have a whole host of blades, but as far as the tool goes, they really did it right. They gave it a variable speed mm. and you know, there's a lot of guys out there who don't care about that. You just want to throw it in top speed and go, right. You can do that. Um, where it'll help you is those harder woods. Mm-hmm. If you can slow it down, you're not going to burn the mm-hmm. wood as easily. You know, the blade is just literally going slower. It's not going to you know create as much heat. So you can, you can, you can really dial this thing in. And if you're really, really experienced at what you do and you found things that work, you're going to be able to do that here and translate it to the Milwaukee track saw, okay. which is great. They've got three different track sizes, um, a 3155 and a 106. I had to Whoa. look at my notes for that. So they've got a 106, but you're not having to connect two of them together to get that? You can connect them to get longer than that, but they've got a 106 as okay. a standalone track, yeah. Wow. Yep, and the, the 31 and the 55 will fit. They have like mm-hmm. kind of a longer case, and you can fit both those sizes in there. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, the tool's not going to come with a track. You're going to buy that extra. It's, it's a, that when you buy the kit, it's going to come with a battery charger, and you're going to mm-hmm. get a, a, actually a nice pack-out case, which is kind of cool. Oh, good. So, but back to, the, back to the saw itself. Integrated riving knife drops down when you plunge it. Mm. Um, you've got all sorts of really neat features on this saw. Um, you know, if you're going to do a bevel, <clears throat> you know, a long bevel, it's going to lock into the track so it doesn't lift off of there for you. A mm-hmm. um, lot of adjustability for tracking. 
a lot of control to get that thing sliding the way you really, really want it to. Okay. And um, and just uh, trying to think of what else. How's um, the plunge action on it? Is it pretty smooth? It's really smooth. Um, you know, I would... I didn't do a ton. I, it'll be really good to get it in in here and mm-hmm. and get some of actually get some of our woodworking pros over and just have them play with it here as well. Get their yeah. take on it. But oh, so play with it here. So you're not going to give it to one of them. Heck no, no, oh, it's not leaving here. <laughs> this is a great saw. So yeah, so it. I did a lot of like well, I would just pre plunge it and then run it through. We were running mm-hmm. through like two inch uh, hardwood. So okay, uh, battery. Are they packing that with a, a standard battery? Or are they going with high output for this one? Uh, it's a XE six, so it's a high output six, six okay. amp hour. Yep, high output. Yep, okay. that's what it's going to come with, and that's that's what they're recommending. Good and, deal. I'm, yeah, pricing. What's that going to look like? Um, pricing is five ninety nine for the kit. Okay, so and not too bad. That's uh, one six amp hour battery and a charger. I believe that's a six amp hour and a charger. Like okay. I said, no track, but mm-hmm. you. That's pretty that, standard. I've noticed that with other manufacturers yeah, with, too. Yeah. You're, bu- you're buying the saw, and then Get you're the getting you the want. tracks that you need for the way that you work. Because yeah. not everybody needs the. You don't want to pay an extra 100, 150 bucks for a 55 inch track, but what you really want is the 106, or you really need the 31 because you're doing something different. Yep. You had some other cool stuff that you came across. Oh too. man, there were so many cool tools. Um, there were so many tools we didn't even cover all of them. I just need them to send them here so we can really uh, dig into them. Okay. They have a power supply now that runs on four uh, batteries. Yeah, I, mean, I saw that. So, so yeah. it's it's carry on branded, similar yep. to the MX Fuel one, but now right. it's just for the M18, M18. platform. Yeah, and, and it so does it need all four batteries to run? It does. Austin says it does require all Austin four says, batteries. Austin says it does. So if uh, if 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 he's right, then we have a yeah. So that you know what what mean, it, if Austin's right, I think he is right because he it, makes you look good every time we shoot a video. He does make me look good. He's he's he knows his stuff. Yeah. and I think what he's what he correctly pointed out is the fact that because it has 120 volt outlets, you're not going to, you're not going to use that. I'm thinking right. on the USBs that are on there, but mm-hmm. you're not going to have that if you don't have all of them hooked up. So yeah, we yep. have it's probably cool. the and least amount of information on that tool because we were so busy covering everything else. Right. Like, but uh, even before oh. you go on to that, I do think, and Austin can correct me in the description. Austin's I, basically running the show here. We're just going right, to defer is, he is. He's also running our our edits for us. So it's a good thing he's here. It's actually a good thing he went on that trip because he's saving our hides right now. Yeah. Um, but if I remember correctly, uh, that's that power supply is 1,800 continuous watts and 3,600 startup. I believe that's right. So that for an 18 volt, even though it's using four batteries, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. High, you put some high output batteries on there, obviously. And yep. uh, it's... <laughs> it's got some yeah, good so potential. if when that thing shows up, if you notice that all the 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 twelve amp hour high output batteries are gone, and I'm gone, you're on vacation. It's on your boat. It's like probably on my else. boat. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of other things. But anyway, all right. So you you said there was something else cool. So the the tool that I was just like really really digging was the uh, the belt sander. So they finally have a cordless belt sander. You don't dig with a belt sander. You do That's if the wrong you had, application. You, I dug the heck out of this thing. I took it down to floorboards and uh, they had some uh, some three quarter inch uh, ply on the ground and it was purposely kind of, you know, mismatched or whatever. Okay. And you could just, you, I had 60 grit belt on here and just tore at it. And it took seconds to f- to even that out. Oh wow. Seconds. It's so powerful it doesn't bog down. And now before anyone says, yes, I am certain that if I put every single bit of weight I could and absolutely tried, I could probably get it to slow down and stop. But it, but under any kind of hard pushing it really, really hard use, it didn't even stutter. I mean, just kept digging through that wood. Really, really cool tool. It's got two LEDs, it's got one on the front, one on the side. Mm-hmm. So you can really kind of see where you're going. It does feel a little bit like a right-hander's tool um, for when you're using it at least upright on the floor. Mm-hmm. But it, it really gives you good visibility. Um, it's got a tool-free uh, belt release. It's a 3 by 18 belt, very standard. Get mm-hmm. that anywhere so you don't have to worry about it. Tool-free belt release. I pop the belt on and off several times. So it's you said... Easy. So I'm going to go back. Yeah. LED lights. So one on the front and one, on the, one front. on the kind of on the right corner. So, okay, it's so is, that, is that one on the front really helping you kind of going across your material so you can see where the imperfections are? What it's, well, it's kind of weird because they both, they, they kind of both converge and uh-huh. they just give you a really good clean image of the area that you're working on. Okay, cool. You know, with a, with a belt center, you're kind of working in that, working that area until, and you're kind uh-huh. of, you need to see it. It's almost kind of like working with your high wall. You know, you've got yeah. to see what you're working on so mm-hmm. that you know you're flat or whatever. You see you're constantly right. rubbing your hand or you're doing whatever you're putting on. So it's, it just gives you a really good amount of light. And it's something they, they really couldn't have, I don't think they could have done had they just put an LED on the front. And that's cool. what you typically see. 
All right. So a couple things they did right is, is that was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, they made a uh, tool-free handle adjustment. And, and it's, you know, I, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, well, that's cool, adjustable handle. Mm-hmm. It's not really what it is. It's you flip up a lever and you pull the handle back, and that lets you get flush right up against a wall. So if you're oh, trying to get smart. up to something, yep. get that handle out of the way, because otherwise mm-hmm. it's sticking out of the front. I like that it sticks out in front because it gives you a nice grip on the tool. So when you're just grinding away and, and leveling things out, it's a really, really good good handle. You get up against the wall, pull that thing back. Um, i trying to think what else dust collection, built-in mm-hmm. universal dust collector. Um, it's really, really a solid tool. Very, very strong. Everybody's going to ask about runtime. I have no clue how long this thing runs. When we get it in, we'll test it. I just uh, know that if you... You can test it. Yeah. Well, I think... <laughs> we'll I, give you I don't think the runtime will be all that long with a belt <laughs> sander. So, Probably not. Yeah. So I think, I think what you're going to want to do with a tool like this, if you've got a lot of work to do, is your yeah if you got a lot a lot a lot of work to do you're gonna want a corded tool but mm-hmm. if you if you got a bunch of work to do you're just gonna want to cycle a few batteries yeah and and get you know get get to that it's gonna they're gonna sell it as a bare tool only um a price here somewhere on that thing uh two seventy nine two seventy nine yeah okay yeah and it's gonna be available in August a lot of the tools are coming out in August oh uh, yeah been forgetting yeah. to ask about it. yeah yeah so a lot of August dates on those so. Yeah. I think what yeah. else? Um, Good deal. So what else? Uh, what else on the belt sander? What else you got to see that you want to share? If with anybody us? cares, it's like seven hundred to thirteen fifty surface feet per minute. Is okay. the, this is speed on it? So if you're, okay. if you're worried yeah, about that, that'll remove some I'd save a question on the, in the comments there. But um, they also had an orbital detail sander, and it yeah, was really that funny. Was a really interesting call. Yeah, I almost missed it. it I, not that I missed it. I saw it. and I was like, oh, okay. And then so many people were like, did you see the orbital detail sander? And I was like, okay, it's an M12 tool. Mm-hmm. And it, it, um, it roughly kind of feels when you're using it like, the, like their M12 oscillating Yeah, tool. That's, that's what I yeah. thought of when I saw it was yeah. that kind of got the oscillating multi-tool form factor. Yeah. So what you get, if you use an oscillating multi-tool to do sanding, detail sanding, because, you know, they have those, those uh, triangular heads and you put them on, you can get, get paper for it and all that. But you get... You know, you get scratches. It's it is not a detail sanding tool. It's kind of a right. I'm in a it's pinch. Just a bzz, yeah. And I'm, so a lot of guys will do that term, by, hand. by the way. Bzz. That's tech. Yeah, yeah, absolutely technical. It's a it's a buzzword. Yep. That very t- I'll be here all <laughs> well played. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> um, what they've done with this detail sander is they've it's a truly uh, uh, orbital tool, and okay. so you're you're not going to get those scratches. You can use it on railings anywhere in between railings on a on a stairs i mean use anywhere you know around windows so you're going to be able to now have a tool that would take the place of you manually hand sanding uh you know some finish work so that's what really the design of it is did you actually get to try it it did and that's what was cool i want to know because the m12 oscillating multi-tool the vibration control on that thing was ridiculous yeah this one's very very similar and i didn't have them both in my hand okay um so I, i hesitate to you know, sure. equate them immediately. But that was what I thought of when I used it. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, they did a good job with vibration. And it's funny because it's the same thing. When you hold those tools in your hand, mm-hmm. they vibrate like crazy. Right. You put them on the workpiece, and, the and all of a sudden the counterweight system and yep. all that works. Yep. And it's like, oh, there it goes. The material gets it, and your Sweet. hand doesn't. And that was pretty cool. So really, really ergonomic system. I'm trying to see my, I have some notes, but I think we covered most of it. It's 4,000 to 14,000. Okay. RPM or whatever. OPM. OPM, yeah. whatever you want to call it. So yep. It's a really, really cool expansion. A lot of nice upgrades there for Milwaukee. Yeah. So if you have any questions about the products we talked about, or if you've seen some of the ones that we didn't talk about in this, chances are we've got some information that we can share with you. Or if you just want to test Clint's encyclopedic knowledge, or lack of. feel free to drop us those questions and comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching.